Neil, you made several changes to the starting lineup ahead of the game today. What was the game plan this evening? We wanted to come here and uh, dominate the ball. We wanted to. We know it's a tough place to come, but we wanted to take the game to the opposition. We wanted to uh, starve them of the ball. We want to keep possession. We want to create opportunities, um, and we did. It, you know, the game could not have gone any better, really. We, I thought we were on top. It looked like we were going to score, and then from somewhere out the blue, we were goal down. And, uh, and I don't think nobody can tell me that we that we deserve that at all. In the first half, Neil, uh, P. Vincenzi almost scored his second goal in the week. I think he came off their, uh, their defender. Obviously, it was ruled out. Massive decision in the game. Did you get a decent view of it at all? I've not seen it yet. I don't know. Uh, you've got feeling sometimes the right one. I thought it was a goal. Um, it wasn't. It's, it is what it is, isn't it? Uh, the first half saw limited clear cut chances apart from that one. How did you assess the first half? Um, and at the break, what did you say to the team in uh, the second period? We've had we've had um, we've had two games this week, Tuesday, Friday. It, it's been difficult difficult to get the lads on the training ground and really really work at what we wanted. There's been a lot of between myself and Danny, a lot of dialogue with the players rather than actually on the grass. Um, so for them to pick up what we've been asking of them in such a short space of time, as I say, without really practicing it on the grass. I, I thought they're excellent and we just had to we just encourage them to keep believing. You can't go from where we are at the bottom of the league just to play an unbelievable football and, and you know and dump and scoring lots of goals and winning. It's got to be a, a, a progression and uh, we absolutely saw that today and the and the, the lads have been first class this week I must admit. We did dominate the ball the long periods like you say in the second half. Uh, Michael Rose was incredibly unfortunate with his free kick that smashed the post. We seemed to be getting stronger as the game was going on as well at that at that point, didn't we? Yeah, like I said, just, it just felt uh, we were on top and we were going to go on and win the game. They weren't, Tramie weren't particularly hurting us. You know, they weren't. I mean, we've been at games this season where our goals been under siege and, and keepers are having to make you know saves and save after save after save. We just had one save where we where we, where we let them in. Apart from that, it's been it's been pretty quiet. Um, yeah, I thought I really genuinely thought we were going to go and get the victory for one team was going to win. You brought Scotty Wilson on, um, and you also brought Ben Stevens on to replace Tyrone Marsh. How much of a boost is it to have him fit again, um, and how much of a positive is that in the weeks to come? Ben. Yeah. He's he's a talented player. He's been a stop start season for him. He's uh, he's got a lot of work to do. He's got a lot of work to do. He's had a couple of little injuries. He's, he's I think he's found adapting to full time football a little bit difficult. But he's there now. He's he's back fit. He's had a good couple of weeks, and uh, you know we're getting bodies back and the squad the squad's looking stronger. Um, I mean if that's Ben's league debut, I would guess. Um, and it's a big ask for such a young kid to come on and try and, and get an equalising goal, but he's he's doing the right things in training, as have the other lads, the rest of the lads as well. You alluded to mentality um, with the situation we're in at the minute. The last time we were here, we took a, a giant step to the lead title. Um, as much as that was an incredible mental victory over long periods of time of season, how much of what we up against now is also a mental battle? Well, of course it is. We've got to have a siege mentality and. Uh, and I think we have at the moment, and and the, the siege mentality is between the, the squad of players we've got, and that's everyone that you know. There's subs not not been brought on today that are willing the lads to win, willing the lads to do well. Um, we've got a great staff, a bunch of staff that um, again are trying to do everything we can to get ourselves out of this predicament. And then we've just had however many hundred fans that have, have seen what's happened today, and, and hopefully they they're part of that siege mentality. And if if, if people want to give us a stick, brilliant, but we're all in it together and, and we can all make sure that this club starts uh, taking strides forward this season. Two home games away now, um, Carlisle and Northampton. How crucial will they be and how much are you looking forward to getting back to the Moss Rose in front of uh, our own fans? Of course, we, 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 yeah, we, it's, uh, we've not took off at home yet this season. We want to, we've got, I think I'm looking forward to having a good week with the lads. You know, me and Dan have been talking about it. We want to spend time on the training ground with the lads, we want to get messages over to them. Um, they're going to have a weekend off now, they're going to come in Monday working hard, Danny's going to Carlisle, I'm going to Northampton. So we're trying to just prepare as properly as we can and professionally as we can and, uh, and just see where it takes us. It's, uh, it's that against all odds mentality we need to nurture yet again at this club, isn't it? Of course it is, isn't it? and I've, I've said before, Macclesfield sound just finds a way of doing it sometimes when everybody writes you off. 
And if people want to write us off, brilliant, let them. But, you know, people inside the, inside the building, like I say, the, the few hundred that come tonight, hopefully are, are right behind us. Brilliant. Thanks, Dave. Cheers, bro.